Hi everybody, Canadian Moto Gal here, and don't mind the setup, we are in the middle of a complete gut and reno, so as you can see, this is my kitchen kind of waiting, and uh, a laundry room that's like nowhere near a laundry room quite yet, but um, I'm going to play hooky from doing renos today, because I am on vacation after all, so I'm actually going to go out and have some fun with my bike. It's a beautiful day out. I've been wanting to open this and install this for my phone. It's a RAM mount for my Samsung Note and uh, it's a phablet so really I'm, I'm not sure how well this is going to work. I'm really hoping that it's going to be uh, quite solid and hold my phone in place. From what I've read online from the reviews it seems that this is a pretty decent mount and um, it's pretty tough for uh, finding a mount that really works well for a Honda CBR250 because I just don't have a lot of room on my handlebars to mount anything. So the RAM mount that I ordered is actually a stem mount and I did find a couple uh, kind of how-tos online uh, with other people that have had success installing one of these RAM mounts on their Honda CBR. So I'm really hoping that this is going to work on my bike. I'm not sure how difficult it's going to be to install. It looks pretty simple. Um, because we're in the middle of Reynolds, I should have access to any tools that I need. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Uh, give it a go, and I'm really hoping this works. I'm really excited. I'm hoping I ordered all the right stuff. Um, so what I did, again, I did go online. I did see that some other people had had success with this, with this system for their CBR. So what I did end up ordering is I ordered the phablet mount. It's the RAM. H-O-L-U-M-10-B-U and this is like the just the grip holder for the phone and because it's such a uh, large phone I also ordered uh, what was recommended here this one came with it but I decided to order another grip teether just so that I had two in case one of them started to age and crack and, and I didn't want it to uh, break and then not have one so the grip holder, uh, because the phone is so large and uh, it fits into the phone will fit into the RAM mount itself, the grip just goes on the back of your phone and then you just kind of teether it to the front of the, the phone as well so that it just provides a little bit more clamping power. So I have two, so this is going to be my spare. And again, there's the product number for the teether if you just need to order an extra teether. It's RAM, H-O-L-U-N-10. TU and that's the uh, the additional grip for a phablet phone. This part that I did order was the actual stem mount for my bike. Now the nice thing about the RAM systems from what I can see is that there's lots of different opportunities to have different interchangeable types of parts so if you wanted to mount this instead on your handlebar you could do that. Uh, so I, like I said, went with the actual stem mount on my bike because I just don't have room on my handlebar any, any really for anything. And um, the other thing is I can also stick if I wanted to put my GPS or something on here too. I'm kind of hoping that will work with the teether. I don't know size-wise if it will work. If not, that's okay. There's still a little bit of room on my handlebar to mount a GPS if I, if I want to. So I wanted to save that for that. And I wanted this really quick and easy for my phone. So I ordered the stem mount for my Honda CBR 250. And the stem mount here is the RAM B342U. And that's the stem mount, which is gonna go into the stem of the bike. Okay, the other thing that I ordered is this is the it's the arm that will connect from the stem mount to the the phone mount so you need to have a little connecting piece in between these two bits and pieces i ordered the short arm because i didn't really want it sticking out really high i'm not sure if this is going to work i'm hoping it will so it's actually only like i think just two to two to three inches give or take it looks like it's about two inches i don't remember what size it was but this one that i ordered is the uh, ram dbl socket arm b and uh, also the other thing to be aware when you're ordering these bits and pieces is you want to make sure that you're ordering the correct mount for the correct ball size um, so there's different ball sizes that uh, the RAM mounts come in, so you need to make sure that you're actually ordering the right pieces to interchange with each other. So this one, again, it's the RAM B21UA, and again, it's a short arm ball and socket. So go through these instructions, and if I don't really remember what I saw in the video, how-tos, then I'll watch those again before I get started with all of this. 
Okay, so I'm going to try to put my phone in the actual grip and just to see how the fit works. I do have an OtterBox case on my phone, so it does make it a little bit bigger, but I wanted to keep my case on here while I am putting it in the mount. So to install the phone into the mount, all you need to do here, it looks like is like push this open and it's actually going to kind of like bracket back and forth. It's, it's definitely, definitely it's stiff. Um, but uh, also if you're using the teether, they do say to put the teether on the back of where the ball is and then when you have your phone in here, you can just like teether the corners of the phone. So I've done that. I'm opening up the mount. I'm putting my phone inside the bracket area and then just kind of releasing it and it should grip it pretty good. It's pretty flush on the bottom and um, it's, I'd say it's pretty darn secure. I mean, it's not going anywhere just from this. Uh, then to do the teether around your phone, uh, what you need to do is just bring the little kind of lips right over the corners of the phone from the teether. Okay, so that's it with the teether. I can definitely see how it adds extra support to keep your phone more secure. So the nice thing too is um, if I wanted to change my case over to something even a little bit beefier, maybe a little bit more waterproof, um, this would probably still hold it. Like there's still, I still got a lot of room in here for a bigger case. All right, so the first thing I need to do is I need to get rid of the stem cover. Okay, so after um, trying to get this cover off using just like a flathead screwdriver, getting underneath the lip here, and then using a pair of pliers, I did came out pretty easily. Definitely a bit of rust there that I got to try to clean up a little bit of that. And then I'm going to um, next measure the little stem base. like they And so we're supposed to insert this into the open hole and twist it in a few times. And that's supposed to mark it. So twist it in there. Definitely using a little bit of torque. And then once it's in there pretty darn secure, we can screw it out. Now there should be a line. That's kind of where you're supposed to cut your line. And uh, I definitely do have a line in here. It's just the line is a little bit crooked, but it should be hopefully okay. And give it another couple of twists here just to see if that will help to straighten out the line a little bit. And yeah, it did. Okay, so my next step is going to be cut where that line is and then measure one inch down and then cut where that second line is. All right, so I was able to get the cover out. I was able to cut the actual rubber expansion plug, as they said. So what I did is I took the rubber expansion plug and I put that into my stem base like I showed you. I had the top line where I made the cut and then I measured 2.5 centimeters or one inch below the top cut and then that's where you make a mark to do your bottom cut. So then you're left with a one inch piece from this entire rubber expansion plug. That's the one inch piece that you need to use and keep. So then you assemble your whole kind of mounting system here using that one inch piece that you just cut. So I did that and I forgot to tape it. So all it is is you take your round fork stem base, the one with the ball, and then you put your one inch piece that you just cut underneath that. And then you pick the largest plain washer that will fit at the top of the cut that you just made. And then you use the rubber expansion plug that you just cut, like I said, and then at the bottom of that, there's other little kind of plastic doohickey things here that are, it's like a pocket washer and it's plastic and you install that at the bottom of the plug that you just cut with the teeth facing up into the plug. Then all you need to do is take this piece here, which is your flathead screw and um, 
this isn't it obviously it's a bit but then you just put that inside the very top of your fork stem base and then you just like screw that in until this bottom little nut here with there's a washer that fits inside of it like the video from Ram will explain and you just tighten that just until it's all one one unit don't over tighten it because if it expands now it won't fit into the hole in your bike so once I did all that, then all I needed to do was bring that over and then put it inside the stem hole of my bike. So here you can see I was able to get that in. You can see it does stick out a little bit, um, but it's in there really, really securely. Now I only could find the bit that had the Allen wrench, so I had to use a screwdriver, but that's okay. All I did was just like use that to tighten it about 20 times like they say in their instruction video. And then you just wanted to check to make sure that it was in there really nice and secure. Now this will still rotate a bit and that's okay because that's where you're going to be mounting the holder for your phone. So if you want to move it over a little bit, then that's fine. Uh, just as long as the actual like stem that's in there isn't rotating and it's in there really securely, then it's good to go. So I actually tightened mine probably about 30 full rotations before I felt that it was 100% tight where I wanted it. So that's it. It was actually super simple to do. It took me about five minutes. And probably the worst part was definitely use the box cutters to cut that rubber little stem base that you need to do the cuts to because uh, a hacksaw just does not work very effectively for that um, as I found out. So just go ahead and use box cutters or exacto knife. It's super easy and it cut like lickety split no problems. So this I would say on a scale of installation from one to five uh, difficulty being five the hardest one the easiest I would say this was like a one seriously it was very very easy to do. So if you watch the ram instruction video on installing the stem fork stem base uh, super easy the instructions were excellent it's really clear so i had no difficulties after i watched the instruction video and i'm going to post that link right here in the video and i'll also po post it in the description below uh, so you can access it really easily from here in case you're uh, looking and installing one of these all right so that's it next step is i'm going to try to mount the little uh, arm piece that i had showed you earlier and then try mounting my phone and see how this goes. The thing I did notice about this that would actually, I'll see how it goes when I put it on, but I'm almost wondering when you tighten this up, it would be nice to have one that uh, you could tighten the, the top one up separately and I'm sure such a mount exists so I might actually upgrade to that. We'll see how this one goes, but uh, I might change it over to that instead. I'm not quite sure yet. All right, so I'm not going to tighten it up 100% right now because I think I need to keep it a bit loose to be able to uh, put this piece of it into here. Okay, so I've opened up the X grip. I'm putting my phone inside. It's all mounted here, so now I'm going to fit the ball into the mounting plate here. Go ahead and tighten that. So I'm not sure how well this will stay on once you're riding and hitting a lot of bumps, but I guess that's part of uh, finding things out, right? So I'll find that out in a bit. I'm also hoping that this doesn't like fall down or rotate too much when I'm riding because it does seem like the swivel seems a little bit loose to me, but uh, hopefully it stays in position because I wouldn't want this to be positioned somewhere and then it keeps like falling up and down. But again, uh, once I do a few rides then I'll um, update and see how, how it works that way. But yeah, okay, so I'm going to uh, move my mount around. I guess if you wanted to, you could actually have your phone positioned like straight or sideways or whatever works for you. You could plop it sideways, um, whatever works, I guess. So we'll give that a go and see. Going for my ride and testing the new RAM mount that I have here for my phablet, my Samsung Note phone. And uh, so far, so good. I haven't been cruising really fast. So at about 80 clicks an hour, it's actually, it's fine. It's not bouncing around. It's not like moving. It's staying where I put it. So that's kind of good so far. Uh, we'll see how it keeps going here in a bit and um, I'm just kind of playing around with uh, positioning it where I seem to like it best. 
because right now I'm not that sure. I mean, it's not like you want to be obviously texting and writing. It seems to be holding its position quite nicely. If I want to move it a little bit right now, I can, but so still not doing too badly. I think it did drop a little bit this way. I'm not sure, I think it did. But uh, other than that, it's staying on there pretty good. It's, um, yeah, it's pretty good. I like it. I would say well worth the purchase. So this was its first ride and uh, I'll see how it goes for the rest of the summer and fall and I'm hoping it actually lasts because really putting it in was super easy and uh, I kind of like how there's lots of different components you can order for it as well. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Hopefully this video helped you out. Don't forget like, comment, subscribe and connect up with me on social media, Facebook, Twitter and Instagram.